introduce you back. Me. That helmet sounds like some kind of generator. Who the fuck? Oh, wait, hang on, I can't hear a damn thing. I'm just gonna shut this thing off. Right. Marion Blakes, what can I do for you, Mr. Home Invasion? Spacer's Choice send you? Took your sweet time. Gorgon? I holed up in a forgotten cargo bay of a rotting colony ship just so I could never hear that name again. But here you are. I really didn't expect today to go this way. Shit. I should have brought another pack of smokes. The Gorgon Project gave us Adrena time in the end, but that's just the Bose Spacer's choice stuck on the whole mess. Corporate demanded a product they could throw onto shelves. That put the squeeze on low at CAM to develop formulas. Samples. But how do you know if the product works? You run tests, see what happens. That's where human inquiry and auditing came in. I ran HIA and HIA ran the tests again and again and again. And what happens is a whole lot of wasted time and even more bodies. You've heard the adverts, right? Work day and night, still feel refreshed the next morning. Now, what we tested for was dexterity, efficiency, compliance, the traits of a good employee. Numbers never came out right. I could have pumped gallons of those chemicals into every living soul in this colony, 
wouldn't have changed that. What we got was marauders. Hey, do whatever you like. Life's short and we're all dying anyway. We had a few weird accidents, escapes, minor setbacks. But one day, all the test subjects got loose. Sabotage, they said. It wasn't just us. All of the facilities got hit hard. Shut us down for a while. That turned out to be the last straw. Nah. Didn't much care by then. Don't care much now. Spacer's choice wasn't getting much use out of us anymore, so they shuttered the project, kicked Adrena time out the door. And I came here. Indulge a scientist. What do you want out of this investigation of yours? Trying to liven up your memoir? Really? What good can that possibly do? Your crew feel the same? Heck of a world out here for the shy types. What do you get out of headbutting murderous auto mechanicals for your captain here? A family. Or something near to it. We don't always get along or nothing, but what family does? Fair enough. That's all I've got. Here, I still have this pass. Don't much feel like hanging on to it anymore. Made my exit the moment the project started falling apart. Had to steal some credentials. This should get you into the volunteer induction entrance. Come on, I've left it behind me. You wouldn't. Damn it. Fine. Fine, here, I remember one of my access codes. Just punch in the keypad equivalent for replication. Should get you into the offices. Maybe get you to my terminal a little sooner. Yeah, yeah, I'll make sure the auto mechanicals don't bother you on the way out. Thank <laughs> you. 
unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Their intentions are no longer unknown. The unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. I have been programmed to simulate joy and excitement at the opportunity to test my limited defensive capabilities. Captain Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. I understand. Allow me to rectify my oversight. Captain, please be informed that our airlock has a death trap installed. The invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. Their ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrence system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. Now initiate. Note to self. Don't piss off Beta.
Hey, Cap, got a minute? Hi, Cap. Welcome back, Captain. I understand you have resolved. Understood, Captain. Resuming our course. Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? Do I ever? Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Pink slip protocol. How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Anticleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. I'm not making anything. The research team. They were brewing up some improvement to Anticleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more than that. Do I ever? Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be- Oh, thank you so- Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. 